in this video we are playing find the fridges so we're starting off in fridge town so i initially played this game thinking oh yeah you know it looks quite easy there's only 70 of them <laughs> don't judge this book by its cover this one actually has a couple more um kind of challenging fridges to the point where i couldn't find two of them which was super infuriating because when you're that close to finding the whole set um, and you've got the harder ones than these two that I'm missing. <laughs> I had um, Daddy Judge looking for them. We were both in the map at the same time. Could not find Killer. Could not find French Fries. But we, I have managed to find 68 locations in the fridges. So this game does have some interesting little obbies um, and they're not just jump obbies, they do use the speed platforms as well which is really nice. And what's nice about this game is when you teleport somewhere and um, it kind of acts like a checkpoint, the same with when you enter a new area. So if you oof yourself, um, you kind of just go back to where you originally were. So you Obviously the dojo there, I just started straight back at the, the starting point. It doesn't take you all the way back to spawn, which is a nice touch. Um, the only one criticism that I have with this game is when you get a fridge, it kicks you back to that checkpoint. So if you are in one of these obbies like now, or um, there's another couple that you need to rerun the entire obby, that is my only bugbear with this game. So there is no sprint button in this game. The map isn't overly huge so it didn't particularly bother me and there was free teleport so I don't see that really being an issue with this game. So we've got a veiled entrance there in the wall and this is to go and take us to Cloud. Um, I did have an issue collecting the badges with a couple of these um, fridges. Um, I could fix that glitch by logging out of the game, going back in to collect the badge. Um, but I will show you a couple of the other glitches. Um, the biggest one being with the hardest, one of the hardest fridges you have to find. Um, but I'll show you that in a minute when we get round to the fridge mark. And I do think the developer of this game has a thing for burgers because whenever you kind of get one of these fridges it goes hamburger and a lot of the clues and decor around the map is all hamburger based so I think that must be their favourite food. This area just really did make me chuckle and it just reminded me of the film Office Space. Um, if you haven't seen it and you work in an office it is quite old now. Uh, so am I. Um, I would recommend you watch it because it's really funny. Uh, obviously the text outdated now. But just this bit Larry with obviously the burning cubicle and the paperwork that they need to burn just really reminds me of that film. Anybody who works in an office or a cubicle has probably felt the need to do that at some point. <laughs> And of course, the CEO is always the rich one at the head of the conference table. And for some reason, we've got King Kong with the biggest banana ever <laughs> on the side of the building. <laughs> um, however, if you jump down on the sign, um, we can just see another veiled entrance there into the side of the sign. Um, you can either drop down or I just use the kind of dollar sign to jump in there. 
obviously how I'm showing you in this video is literally just how I found it this is my play of this game you could find these completely different to me if you do find killer or french fries please tell me where they were <laughs> So going into Fridge Mart, we can buy Carrot, Coin and Headstack. There's also Dominus, but he costs 5000 Because I didn't quite find all the fridges, um, I didn't get enough coins to buy this one, but it is there ready to buy. So for King, it says to find some buttons around the map. So I found one under the ice, I found one in the grates. We will be going to these areas later on in the video. Um, I found one behind um, Winning Fridge and there's one on top of the building by King Kong and there's a couple behind the shelving in the Fridge Mart. However, I didn't find all eight, yet somehow I got teleported into King and got him. I didn't stay there, but I still got him. So a bit of a glitch there for the hardest one. So I think that's a glitch the developers might want to fix. There's one odd black tile on the board. If you click on it, that will take you to Winning Fridge. And then there's one fridge with the kind of uh, handle sticking out a bit too far. That takes you through to Red Checker. And then we've got a kind of standard Kilbrick obby for this one. If you are liking our video and our channel, please do support us and drop us a subscribe. So the Moai Riddle, I sometimes have meat, I sometimes have vegetables, I'll have both, sometimes I'm tall, I'm short. Have too much of me and you'll, and you'll be unhealthy. What am I? And the answer is a burger. So excuse the suggestions that I was trying. Uh, my mum said pancakes. <laughs> so I tried it. And then that led us to sandwich. Because um, somebody else wrote sandwich. And then obviously from sandwich we thought burger. Obviously the theme of burger running through this. I should have put burger in first. So in the pyramid we've got the maze and the obby. Um, I, you know me with mazes, I don't like them, I'm not very good at them, so just run around. <laughs> I've edited my running round down, um, but there are three in there, so there's Lost. And this is what I mean about the jump back out, so obviously I got Lost and I've got to start the maze again. There's a hidden strip um, to go and get sandstone, but it is quite bright yellow, you can't miss it. And then behind one of these kind of stone fridge statues, we're looking um, for Scorpion. So if you find the room with those three lined up, you should be able to follow where I'm going now. And there is Scorpion Fridge. So we're gonna go into the obby now. got caught out by the spinner there thought I made it but I didn't Give you the largest amount of headroom to run through.
but once we're across we get mummy. But we have to go back through the obby I'm afraid people. There's another veiled entrance to get lava. However, when I was in the game, for some reason I picked up lava as a badge, yet I hadn't found it yet. So it wouldn't let me pick that one up again, just another glitch that I had. So we're in the giant fridge area now. We had a bit of delayed response on Chef Fridge with the badge. So this one it says the milk, milkshake machine is broken. When you go into the index it says that you need to find a tool to stick the machine around the map. If you go outside back into Fridge Town, just by the rubbish dumpster bins there, so you can see a wrench. So you just need to click on the wrench next to the bins and go back into the Fridge Donalds. So this game does ha you do have to buy not one burger but two. So you're gonna spend a hundred like fridge coin dollars on rotten burgers. <laughs> so um, the first burger we can go up and go and collect Angel. Again, this is where I think the game is a little unfair to teleport you back out. It just cost me fifty dollars to buy a rotten burger. I've got to go buy another one now so I can jump off the platform. Um, and we can go and get a full damage fridge. So the open wheelie bin takes us down into the basement of Fridge Donald's um, and this is the Insanity fridge. Um, this one requires 30 fridges. It recommends you complete it as a player rather than a fridge um, and if you carry on completing it you get coins. If you complete it every time. I didn't complete this. <laughs> oh, it's just insane. Like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I kind of got to the sand bits. So the, the kind of wavy sand bits of speed platform. So literally they chop you off. But yeah. I don't know where the killer and french fries are in there somewhere. Because I didn't manage to get up. Um, I had to, I tried and tried and tried and it was just rage quitting every time, that was just not an obby for me. In the trophy room you can get fridges just according to the amount of fridges that you get. So we get teleported into the giant fridge. The bean can teleport can be a bit dodgy. And this, this developer does have a sense of humour because they've put bean and toxic gas in the same <laughs> <laughs> Same location, which did make me chuckle. So we're going into the pizzeria, but round the back, um, this is where you will find the kind of purple police officer one. I was quite surprised there was only one fridge in here. Talking to the fridge and talking to who I think was supposed to be Freddy Fazbear down the bottom. Um, they didn't bring anything else to the table. It's not really the point of talking to them to be fair. So into the grapes and we've got a trampoline to get winged fridge. And then through the other door we've got kind of like a bubble grape obby to get up.
So if you do need to press the button, obviously you can just see the button there in the bunch of grapes. So you'll have to jump off, press the button and then carry on doing the obby again. But once we're at the top, we've got Great Bridge. And of course, because we've teleported back down, you're going to have to climb it again, I'm afraid, to go and get shiny. So we run over to the edge of the platform and we jump on the first bunch of brakes. You can just need to cross a little bit to get to kind of close the gap between jumps and we jump across to that one that teleports us through to shiny there. So in the freezer section or the head of the fridge, we've got the ice cream fridge and we've got this massive brain. So these are speed platforms, so you are going to have to jump before you reach the end of the platform. So we've got telekinetic at the end. And we are going to have to do the obby, I'm afraid. The eagle-eyed viewers would, may have seen a burger on the floor. So what you need to do is kind of like stop running um, and kind of moving forward when you hit this platform and jump. And that will take you down to this teleport to go and get a wide fridge. Moving through into the snow area now. So we need to go ahead and collect these snowballs. There's five in total that we need to go around and collect to go and get snowman, which is here. As it says, five snowballs needed. When you hold it out, it takes a snowball off you. So this is the ice section here with the walrus um, and it has the button underneath that I showed you previously. The water does kill you, so don't spend too long in there. You don't want to take a dip in this water. But there's another snowball over in the edge. And then we have a teleport in the corner. You can just see the square there. So make sure your health bars up before you try and get it. But this takes us through to the sea unicorn narwhal. So behind the rocks on the slope we have another snowball and the snow fridge is just tucked away there. The third snowball is round the back of the house. This obby is very clever, but the platforms, every single platform disappears, so you are going to have to be quick. No dilly-dallying on this one. Um, to get over the bars, you will need to jump from one to the other to get the time. The only bit that is a respite is the brick here at the top of this part of this obby. but we have penguin at the end. And I'm afraid people, you're gonna to have to go through and do the obby all over again. And then in the corner by penguin, you can just see it there. We've got a drop down to the melting fridge. And then our final snowball that we need, because we've already given the snowman one already, is just down the side of the slope by the kind of ice and the frozen mammoth. 
we're gonna go see this uh, the snowman crib the five snowballs he wants So for Yeti Fridge, go up by the cabin and drop down. You'll see a little ledge and there's a veiled entrance into Yeti Fridge. So for the Mammoth, you need to find an object that will melt the ice. This took me so long to find. It was by pure chance I went down this wall and just pressed. But the one you can see with a lighter band around the torch, you can just see it's slightly lighter press that one and then teleport yourself back into the snow wedge mountain so sneaky that one is i mean that is why i'm saying don't judge a book by it. it's covered with this one it may look easy but that was quite hard to find <laughs> And once you have the fridges, you can then morph into them. Um, it, it does kind of affect the gameplay a little bit. You are a bit sluggish, but it's quite fun to dress up as a fridge. Thanks for watching. Please do support the channel and subscribe. Take care. Bye.